they do that. And you will learn really fast through the competition and get their experience. And then, of course, no more people from other clubs. I joined the competition, so I met William. I joined the competition, so I know Sammy. I know many great speakers. And if you, love, if you win the competition, some of the clubs will invite you to have a workshop or maybe have a daily speech. Then you will know many great clubs and see many excellent people. I think joint Toastmasters is not only for you to improve your speaking skills, but also to learn how to social with people. I was a girl who, who didn't like to social with people. I hate strangers. I want to keep them, okay? <laughs> but because I become a PR in Toastmaster, I become a big, now, what's my job now? Uh, VPN. <laughs> so, I need, to, I need to social with people. It helped me to improve my social skills, join Toastmasters. That's why I think it's the, one of the reasons why you have to join the competition. still learning on how to write a script. I have a coach. His name is Dr. Bon. You all met him before. He comes to our club and have a demo speech. He's a re really good coach. He helped me to correct my speech. So actually, I still need, I still have a, a lot of improvement on that. I'm going to share some of the tips that maybe you can use in your contest speech. I think contest speech is not equal to regular speech. A regular speech means uh, it's a speech that Devon did today and, and Sam did today. Just standing here and deliver your speech in a regular meeting. In a regular speech, it's a chance for you to practice, the chance for you to talk to people and deliver your speech. And all you have to do, you can talk anything you want, but all you have to do is to reach the goals. Today, your goal is icebreaker, so you'll let everybody know who you are. Today your speech is visual aids. So get comfortable with the visual aids. Today your speech is vocal variety. Then you have to change your voice. If you can. <laughs> Something like this. So just reach the goal. But contest speech is combine everything if you can. You have to combine visual aids. No, oh, not, not visual aids. You have to combine vocal variety, organize your speech, how to make people laugh, something like that. You have to combine everything if you can. And there are four really important things in the context speech. The clear value, interesting content, and good transition, and strong conclusion. The value, I think, is the most important. Value is the message that you want to tell your audience. Why the audience have, have to come here and listen to your speech? Because they want to learn something from you. Maybe after they hear your speech, they even change their lifestyles or something. So, clear value is very important. The value in judges' list is 50%. So it's really a big part in a speech. My, my champion speech value is about being myself. We like to admire people. She's beautiful than me. He's handsome than me. Uh, no, handsome than me. <laughs> than my boyfriend. <laughs> we always admire other people. And we want to be like other people. But why? Everybody is unique. Why do we have to be like other people? Just be ourselves. So that's my message that I want to tell you in my last speech. And that interesting content. In a speech, you don't want audience just listen to you and keep listening and think, oh my god, what is the end? What is the time? <laughs> so you have to add something funny and to attract the audience. I always suggest people to use their personal story because that's your story. But honestly, I always think that I'm only 21 years old. I don't have so many life experience. So I make one. <laughs> About my speech, 50% of it is fake. <laughs> In my champion speech, I talk about a blind piano teacher, if you remember that. Kevin asked me, my, uh, the, the teacher in our club, he said, is that real? No, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is real. But you have to say that I do 